Hello, in this episode, I'm going to be talking about my ducks. These are giant pecans, and they're laying eggs. Stay tuned. Hello, welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hans, and I wanted to talk about these white creatures here, the white feathered creatures. These are Pekin ducks. I currently have three ducks and two drakes. You could tell the white ones, uh, the male between the female, uh, three ways. Number one is the male's voice will be quack, quack. And of course, the female's voice will be quack, quack, quack. There is a distinct difference. You could hear him over there quacking. Yeah, there's another distinct difference. If you look on their tail, you'll see a little curly feather. That's male. All the males will have that curly feather. The feather's not there all the time. When they molt, they lose that feather, so it's hard to tell which is male and which is female during molting season. But in uh, this time of year, this is um, going into mid-February, yeah, uh, the testosterone is flowing, that feather is out. And the third way of telling is, well, the males are gonna be mounting the females a lot. And when the uh, males, the drake, mounts the duck, they uh, fertilize that egg, and then the duck will go find a suitable place to nest. Usually, she tries to find a safe place that is away from pet predators and kind of quiet away from the other creatures. Now, as you can see here, I have three dog igloos that I've packed with straw and I set them out behind uh, the gobbler gallery and uh, where I keep my turkeys. Now it's quiet back here, it's away from everything else and a duck had chosen one of the igloos over here to lay eggs. She's got seven eggs in there so far and there's another nesting box over on the other side that has eight eggs. So I've got two ducks out of my three that are actually laying eggs. So once they start getting a clutch big enough that's suitable for them, they're gonna sit down and start incubating those eggs. And in about, I think it's 28 days for a duck gestation for an egg to hatch. We'll have little yellow duckies floating around on the pond. So cute. One of my most favorite creatures in the whole world. So I set some uh, trail cams up and tried to catch a duck actually laying an egg. I set three trail cams up, two in the igloo and one outside. Let's check those out and see the happenings. Mainly I wanted to see if there's any nocturnal predators that are coming around that I'm not aware of because I've had problems in the past with all my eggs getting et by something. I managed to eliminate those somethings and uh, I haven't had a problem since. Hopefully the baby chicks will hatch and then I'll be able to have a success of chicks and ducklings and then eventually the geese, when they start laying eggs and incubating the eggs, I'll have goslings. So, looks like the geese are checking the place out too. Every time the duck comes up and inspects her eggs when something uh, happens up here, whether the geese come up, she comes up and sees what's going on. If I come up and just look, I leave, she comes up and checks to see what's going on. So she's always looking and inspecting her egg. And check this out. This is her actually laying an egg. Isn't that cool? That's cool.
So like with all my livestock, I do a lot of research into a specific breed of animal before I choose one for my homestead. There's a couple of factors I look at and one of them is my climate. Will the animal thrive up here in the Cascade Mountains? Number two is, uh, is the animal growing out enough that breed that I could use for meat? Or if it really comes down to it, can I breed them easily and use them to barter? So that's the methods in which I determine what specific breed of livestock I choose for my farm. In this case, it's the white giant Pekin duck. And the baby yellow duck is the icon for my duck in a cup productions because like I said it's one of my favorite creatures in the whole wide world and I enjoy sitting out on my porch swing and just watching the ducks be ducks like they're doing right now and I was really fortunate to find a property that I could purchase for real cheap that actually comes complete with a pond how about that? Well, giant Pekin ducks for the homestead. Baby yellow ducks coming soon. Stay tuned to that one. You could do that by subscribing, clicking that bell icon. That alerts you to new videos as I upload them. Give us a thumbs up. Click that share button. Sharing my videos on your social media platforms helps expand my channel's viewership. Remember, be safe. Always be kind. I'll see you guys in my next adventure. I'm going to go sit on the port swing.